Is lockdown the only solution to prevent coronavirus, that is COVID-19? Is lockdown the only model available to avert and avoid COVID-19? Well, Sweden has proved that lockdown is not the only viable and feasible solution. Quoting John Fund and Joel Hay from the National Review, Sweden has courageously decided not to endorse a harsh quarantine and consequently it has not forced its residents into lockdown. Sweden is developing herd immunity by refusing to panic. The coronavirus disease 2019 was confirmed to have reached Sweden on 31st January 2020 when a woman returning from Wuhan tested positive. The community transmission was confirmed on 9th March in the Stockholm region. The first death was reported on 11th March. Contrasting and unlike most of the developed world, Sweden has enabled its schools, gyms, cafes, bars and restaurants to remain open during the pandemic. Swedish businesses are not under lockdown. Travel to and from Sweden is allowed for EU nationals. The Swedish constitution prohibits ministerial rule and mandates that the relevant government body, in its case an expert agency, the public health agency, must initiate all actions to prevent the virus. That's the nodal authority. This provision made state epidemiologist Andres Tagnell a vital focal point in the crisis. The public health agency and government have issued recommendations limiting freedom of assembly, temporarily banning gatherings of over 50 individuals, banning people from visiting nursing homes, if possible, work from home, avoid unnecessary uh, travel within the country to, to uh, engage in, in social distancing, uh, you know, uh, and, and for people above 70 to stay at home as much as possible. Sweden's rare and different approach in fighting the coronavirus pandemic is starting to generate favorable findings. The latest figures on infection rates and fatalities indicate the situation is starting to stabilize. Sweden is no less than a trendsetter today or perhaps a role model of keeping the normal life, businesses and commerce continue as usual as possible. The makeshift temporary camps set up as emergency care facilities around the country have mostly remained vacant and unused. As of 19 April 2020, there were 14,800, uh, uh, beg your pardon, 14,385 confirmed cases with about 1,540 deaths. The figures are definitely not as alarming as in Italy, Spain, France, etc., which are under lockdown. Quoting T.A. Frank from Vanity Fair write-up, What Sweden's chief strategist Tegnell means is that coronavirus is all over the world now. And without a vaccine or, you know, a massive outbreak that brings about herd immunity, you won't get rid of it. Even if you do what China did and lock down so hard that, that you eradicate the virus within your borders, it will return as soon as you allow any travel in and out of your country to resume. So Sweden has based its policies on two premises. Number one, the coronavirus can only be managed, not suppressed. Short of go going full Wuhan model on the entire planet, we will have to live with it. People won't tolerate severe lockdown for more than a month or two perhaps, since boredom, isolation and economic desperation will get overwhelming. That's what T.A. Frank mentioned in Vanity Fair uh, article. It is uncertain which tactic and approach will eventually demonstrate to yield maximum results. But in light of the enormous economic harm being caused by stringent 
lockdown measures, the Swedish strat strategy has evoked significant attention around the globe.